Hello everyone, welcome to our presentation. In this industry-based project one presentation, we'll be talking about network monitoring tools. So my group members are Aisha, Aisha Kya, Amrit Neopani, Barsana Shrestha, and me, myself, Aisla Shrestha. So our company we're working for is Gala Technology, while our project supervisor is Dr. Sanjeev Shrestha. So talking about its overview, we'll be discussing about the project introduction, its goals, its resource requirements, and its current market competitors. So talking about networking, what exactly it is. It is the exchange of information and ideas among people with a common profession of special interest, usually in an informal social setting. So talking about its importance, it makes us noticeable in the market it improvises creative intellect and grows in status so current status of networking and prevailing cyber attacks as discussed with the client phishing password encryption and spamming are to be focused on so what exactly it is a network monitoring tool so a network monitoring tool is a tool tool which is reliable and that tracks and logs network parameters and sorts of trends a network monitoring system will watch and compare data transmission rate throughput uptime downtime rate error rates response time to the input and request so the client we've got for this project is gara technology which was established in 1st of january 2016 located in melbourne victoria so gara technology is a private limited company with a technology company that specializes in the rapid de delivery of enterprise grade online real-time web application with enforced workflows so it configures web solution that scale provides our client enterprises great solution faster so now my friend will take over the project goals Thank you, Aislal, for this. Uh, so now I'm here to present on goals of this project. Uh, the main goal of this project is to develop a low-cost network monitoring system that is affordable by small businesses. Small businesses, they include uh, small, uh, shops like coffee shops or grocery shops or even fresh produce shops. Uh, all these small businesses, they carry out their daily transactions with the help of internet and network. Uh, this tool can aid in monitoring the small businesses uh, with the help of security protocols. Uh, the system must be able to protect the system against um, networking attacks and help to ease down the situation in case of any occurrences. Uh, the system is, uh, should, be, should be designed in such a way that the IT team and the users should receive alerts with the help of um, SMS or emails or even alarms. Uh, uh, the system must be able to analyze the security logs by in incorporating diagnostic tools, applications or appliances during the process of monitoring. Um, uh, moreover, the system must focus on maintaining the integrity, uh, confidentiality, availability, and redundancy of the data on the network. Uh, so now I'm gonna. Uh, the next slide is uh, gonna presented by my friend Aisha. Uh, thank you. Hi. Uh, I'm going to present about the problem domains and research some research questions. So these are the problems that we found uh, while comparing our project with the other literature review. So first problem here is uh, most of the network monitoring tools only observe the wire network. And another one is capital investment. The, they need very uh, huge capital investment. Uh, and similarly, uh, most of the network monitoring tools that we found in the market uses very uh, complex interface. And uh, another one is it requires constant observation. Uh, like they need to be rebooted in certain point of time to continue the monitor again. And these are the problems. And yeah, the research question here is like, as well as uh, our project, as in our project, we are trying to develop a system monitoring tools uh, that will be very cost effective, uh, that will be able to send the uh, notification alert message to the admin and and very simple use use very simple in interface so that even a person with a very little knowledge of technology can use the system. So the question 
our writers from the literature review while comparing our pro our project with those like can we develop a cost effective uh, network monitoring tool so that it can be affordable by very uh, even the small business organization uh, will we, will it be able to send the alert message so in case of any uh, uh, network interfer interference uh, or network in intrusion uh, will you be able to send the alert message to the admin or not can we develop a system that can monitor continuously or not so yeah these are the research questions and for the next slide i would like to pass it to my friend thank you so yes i'd like to thank you guys for that um moving on to our resource requirement um the main uh, resources we'll be needing basically comes down to three things that is human resources hardware and software resources and since we'll be doing this project by ourselves and investing us to the project there uh, will uh, be no need of extra human resources and moving on to the software resources uh, the major resources will be heroku deployment software that is mentioned by our client that um, we must be using this uh, while deploy deploying the software and the next one is operating system for raspberry pi and the other one is open source monitoring tool uh, that will probably be negative for the project and um, now moving on to hardware resources uh, we will be needing a programmable router, a Raspberry Pi version 3 or 4 probably, and a wireless adapter and cables, which is a modem that will be connected to the, that will connect us to the network. And talking about the uh, project, uh, uh, probable design approach for the project. These are more like the basic steps that we'll be taking during the course of our project. Uh, we've already done our research and already come up with the problem domain. So the next step in um, uh, next step uh, in the project are going to be determining the baseline performance metrics, as in what um, the tool or the system will do and uh, to what, what extent will it be doing things. Um, let's say monitoring and alert system metrics will be sending SMS or like we'll be able to perform certain actions based on the predefined commands. And um, the other, the next one would be determination of the available software. So, um, those variable software is with Susan based on the metrics. And the next step will be integrating the software with Raspberry Pi, uh, with Raspberry Pi. And the other one, uh, the step after that will be implementing and testing the um, configuration, implementing and testing the configurations. Um, and after implementing and testing the con configuration, we'll be demonstrating it to our clients and um, the maintenance will be done accordingly. And moving on to the high level designs of the project. Um, this is a system architecture overview. We'll start with a Nagios um, and a Raspberry Pi. They'll, and they'll, uh, Raspberry Pi will contain of any MS um, operating system that makes up our monitoring tool, which will be connected to a display or monitor. Um, the tool will also be connected to uh, the router via a Ethernet cable. The internet uh, internet comes uh, is connected to the router, and uh, router is in turn connected to our monitor network that will uh, consist of wired and wireless both uh, um, on both networks and. Uh, the data inside the networks will always be analyzed um, by the monitoring tool and let's say it um, captures a packet that uh, that is analyzed the processor analyze and analyzing will be um, uh, it will analyze if it's a potential threat or not if it is not uh, no action will be ta taken but if it is a potential threat the alerts will be sent via mail or sms to the um, user or the admin or whoever is operating the network and this is our use case diagram. The um, one on the right hand side is our monitoring tool um, admin handling the network, and uh, the one on the left is uh, a client or network. The, the arrows define the probable access that they'll both be uh, uh, doing um, in the network. So this is a data flow diagram. It basically consists of monitoring to our network user client and adapter devices, uh, or let's say administration, uh, every single stuff that will be accessing uh, data in between the network. So yes, so moving on to the um, life cycle of the pro uh, project, or let's say the um, curation of the uh, system. Azile system will be used. Uh, it basically starts with selecting the project uh, and initiation of the project with these two steps that have already been done. 
uh, we're uh, currently documenting the project. So the construction and all delivery of the required system will be done in the next semester. After that, we'll be releasing the system system and um, um, and the production or operation and support or release will be done by the, with the help of our client. Um, and um, uh, the changes will be made accordingly uh, if um, if the clients are not uh, satisfied or if uh, the system does not uh, meet the project objectives and the retirement will be done um, uh, once the project is over. So it will basically be removing the system from the production. So for the next slide, I'll like to invite Barsana. Thank you so much. Now I will be talking about the market competitors. Um, well, our project is all about developing a network monitoring tool, which should be very cost effective and easy deployable. When we researched on some of the market competitors for our product, um, we found out several powerful network security providers that protect and monitor the businesses. Some of them are um, PRTG Network Monitor, Falcon, and PagerDuty. Here I will be talking about uh, some of the unique features of this networking tool. So let's start with um, PRTG. PRTG, it is basically a tool which comes with a built-in mechanism for notifications like email, push, or HTTP request whenever the system gets breached. Um, it has also got it has also got a um, unique uh, feature that we can make our own PRTG API um, uh, to write our own notifications. Similarly, uh, the another tool is Falcon. It has the feature of tracking the um, use of administrators, um, the credentials to um, detect if they are being used inappropriately or not. It can also be uh, very useful to monitor the login and um, time frames and the session length, which is very um, um, helpful to identify the unusual behaviors. Similarly, uh, talking about the page duty, basically this uh, tool helps to monitor all the systems, um, the devices, traffics, and application in any IT infrastructure. Um, it also includes the central monitoring and the uh, managing and the management of all the cloud computing services from anywhere we want. So, um, uh, in a conclusion, um, we've done um, a market research and like found out some of the unique features and the working mechanism of our product competitors. After that, we had a mindset of keeping our product a very cost effective, which can be very easily, um, which can be easily deployed and managed. And um, it should be well suited mostly for these small businesses like um, cafes, restaurants, and so on. Uh, with the recent survey, it has shown that the hackers more often tend to exploit the small businesses rather than the large organizations. So um, I think um, uh, the, the small organizations um, are in high risk and um, should be provided with a strong security. Um, therefore, um, in this project, we are working all together to help such businesses in making their infrastructures very strong in real time basis to defend against the security breaches. And um, the next phase refers to the references taken by us. Thank you so much.